So for those of you that are watching now on Israeli News Live, let me let you know this is the second half of a broadcast that is aired on our Patreon channel. We have a very sensitive broadcast that we have aired on our Patreon channel at Israeli News Live. Uh, the link, of course, is in the description below. And <clears throat> I'm going to share some information with you here on Israeli News Live that otherwise I probably would have shared over only on um, uh, Patreon as well because of the sensitivity of this. But I have been able to find a public source that corroborates the information that I'm about to share with you. The entire Ministry of Interior of Ukraine is dead. They're going to try to find a way to blame this on Russia. But even like in Vera Van Horn's post, she said Ukrainian air defense shot down a Ukrainian helicopter with Ukrainian Minister of Internal Affairs, his deputy on board. The helicopter crashed in a residential area, killing 16 people, including two children. Also on this helicopter uh, was the entire interior ministry. It was no accident that this helicopter was shot down by Ukrainian air defenses. What many people are not aware of, I want to share with you, let's see, I've got another video for This is the actual helicopter going down right after it was hit here. What they're not telling you about this particular downing, and they won't tell you, and by the way, if you heard the guy, his voice was in English. Okay? That's because we have Americans <clears throat> in the background fighting inside of Ukraine. Polish troops, as I told you back in March, were already inside of Ukraine. I also mentioned, I think, on our Patreon channel that uh, Poland was going to annex parts of Ukraine. That's now public knowledge. Told you that a while back. Well, now it's public knowledge. Because of the billions of dollars that is being pumped into Ukraine in this war here, these politicians and interior ministries are fighting over who gets what, who gets their cut, who gets, who, who gets the money, who does what, etc. inside of Ukraine. The downing of the interior ministry here and killing of the interior ministries and their deputies there was a payback because somebody didn't get paid off their cut in this crime against humanity. You know, if you stand for with Ukraine, you need to just stand with the poor people of Ukraine that are have become victims of of the biggest money laundering scheme that has happened in modern times. The Russian people, the Russian Ukrainians on the east side are fighting for their lives while the Ukrainian people on the western side are just being totally taken advantage of by their own government officials of greed and power and money and extortion and murder and chaos and they've been willing to murder their own people at the expense of getting more billions of dollars of equipment sent inside the country. And I've listened to the intel briefings about this particular incident. And I know of the corruption that is going on and the murder and stuff that has taken place inside this government and how they'll do everything they can to blame it on Russia. And Russia has nothing to do with it. Do you know that it has been parliament just passed in Ukraine, punishable by death, even for the prime minister to speak to the president of Russia? President Putin. 
Yeah. And yet Putin constantly tries to put out an olive branch to bring this war to an end. But NATO won't let it happen. Serbia and Kosovo are on the verge of war. They're already beginning to build a civil war within that country as well. God only knows who's behind that one. I can smell Chabad everywhere I look. I will tell you that. I'll leave that at that on that issue there. But then as I was preparing this, it just so happens only one man, because you won't find what I'm telling you anywhere publicly of the corruption going on in the government and the government killing their own. And in this case here, it was a hit within their own. But oddly enough, Russell Bentley had written a message to his followers. And I'm not one of his followers. I just know Russell Bentley because I used to listen to his YouTube channel. Since I interviewed him, I think I've maybe heard one broadcast of his since then. But he normally has very good information because he's an American, but his family are Ukrainians. And he went there to try to protect his family who happened to be on the Donbass region, the Donetsk side of uh, the Ukraine war, against the neo-Nazis that were trying to kill off his family members. So he's looked down upon by many people. But then he wrote this here, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Here's a man that knows what's really going on, right? And I already knew this from the deepest of intel, and I'd already corroborated it through two different intel sources. And this is what this is what Russell wrote, okay, in his post here yesterday at 7:56 a.m. I will answer you all, my faithful followers, what happened today in Bravery. The Ministry of the Ministry of Eternal Affairs of Ukraine has long known that the leadership of the Ministry of Defense is selling Western weapons that come to Ukraine in the form of assistance in a favor of third countries. And this process is directly supervised by the head of the main intelligence directorate, uh, Budanov. The way this information has already surfaced somewhere. The leadership of the Ministry of Internal Affairs wanted their share and began to collect data through their structural units, which are associated with intelligence and outdoors. As a result of this, they managed to obtain evidence and blackmail began. The military commanders promised a share to the police leadership and the first uh, tranche was paid, but it was pointless and unprofitable to pay further. Plus the audacity of the Ministry of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, who climbed into the wrong garden, strained the military elite. And today, the day has come when the guys from the GUR were able to demonstrate their skills. But that's not all. The sanction for this was personally given by Yermak, who is also in subject in secret from the supreme narcissist clown Volva. That just kind of gives you a little inside glimpse of corruption. But what I'm telling you is the corruption is so deep within the government there that they are basically mafia style, execution style, killing one another when somebody's not getting paid off their cut in the millions and billions of dollars that are being pumped into this Ukrainian war. This has become the new mega billionaires club on who gets to be the next billionaire of Ukraine. Who's going to become the next oligarch that comes out of the shadows of all of this? And Russell just barely mentions it. But he's spot on. He knows exactly what's happening. And I'll take you deeper. I'm just now beginning to put this together 
but I will take you deeper. There's more to come. So be watching. We have special guests coming tomorrow night, Pastor Anthony, and then again on Sunday, John Moore. And maybe with John Moore, I can discuss some of this information. I don't know how much he may be aware of these types of activities, but I will be having meetings with other people. And in particularly, what you guys are not aware of that we spoke about earlier on Patreon, the sensitive information there, I'll be speaking with a man that has been behind the enemy lines inside of Russia. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Stay tuned. We will be keeping you up to date the best we can with the deepest of inside information coming from the war in Europe.